Hey, what's going on guys? Richie Fix here back with another video. It's not going to be a super long video today. This is more just a filler video just to kind of keep us on track on pace for SDCC because once SDCC gets here, we're going to have some news, baby. We are going to have some news. I am expecting to have them at least announce three new figures and man, I cannot wait. What new figures? That's a great video. What new figures are we going to be waiting on? Um, E-Honda is a big one. T-Hawk's a big one. Um, obviously Zangief is a big one. Who am I missing? I can't really think off the top of my head, but there are others that are needed to be announced. Akuma obviously needs to be announced, uh, but yeah, there are different things that we're waiting on for Jada to announce, but one thing, and I'm, I use the word filler here because that's kind of what this video is about. Something Jada needs to drop. Just while we're waiting on new figures and things like that, I thought this would be a really good idea, and what are we even talking about? Let's take a look. All right, guys, taking a look at the graphic on the screen, you know what this is. I kind of teased this a day or two ago, and what are we looking at? Well, it's the game over faces. Now, June has talked about this in other live streams before. It definitely sounds like a possibility, if not going to be a reality here shortly, but I used the word filler at the beginning of this video because that's exactly what I think Jada needs to do here, and I think they actually need to get working on these sooner than later. Storm does include these with their figures, but... I almost leaves a little bit of a downfall for Storm. Actually, that's not true because Storm already takes 10 years to release their figures as it is. Imagine waiting for accessory packs from Storm. My God. But looking at these here, I think they're very cool. I do think they're a, necess you know, a necessity to the line just because you see these faces anytime you lost. Man, I growing up, I remember always seeing the countdown with these faces. And, well, that's what I think we need to do here as a filler is get these game over head sculpts. Now, we you'd think we'd start seeing these with the deluxe editions, but as you can see, they haven't added those. You've, we've seen a deluxe Chun-Li, we've seen a deluxe uh, Fei Long, Ryu, Ken. None are coming with the game over faces, so what I propose, well, this is what I got. Just taking a look at the graphic on the screen immediately, I'm gonna say, be kind, be gentle. <laughs> I didn't have a lot to work with in my Photoshop experience with what we have here but i do think it's a good representation of what jada needs to whip out here very soon it's a game over street fighter 2 head swap pack now i think it'd be smart to do this this way just because a couple reasons one it will inspire people that have one or two figures to go get the others because it's going to include all the heads from figures that we've seen so far Granted, that is Evil Ryu. I could not find, like, one of those mock images of just the normal Ryu, so I had to use the Evil Ryu. But, hell, throw Evil Ryu in there anyways. Why not? Um, we got Ken, Fei Long, Ch Chun-Li, uh, Dalsim, and M. Bison. Granted, these are, I don't know if they're wanting to do, like, their own, like, separate sculpts. Because their hair does get messed up and different things like that, and they probably want to make it a different face. But, in all honesty, you could just repaint sculpts we already have and just ha add like the battle damage to it i don't know how hard it would be and how long it would take to just make minor changes to the head sculpts but i think doing it this way would do a service to jada one it would inspire people to buy the other figures because you can't just buy them separately one by one if you get so it's like if i get an m bison but i don't have an m bison it's like, oh, wow, this head's actually pretty cool. I'd like to put it on an M. Bison. And then it inspires the customer to go and buy that particular figure that they don't already have. So uh, doing it this way, it could be just like a game, like it says there, just game over pack. Comes with all the characters that we have so far. And then make this like 15, 20 bucks. I don't know, nothing crazy, but like, I think 15 or 20 seems fine. It doesn't need to be the cost of an entire figure. Granted, it's just a head sculpt. Do we want to include maybe some extra accessories or something? Sure, but then that's where price gets a little bit heavier. But I would love to see Jada do something like this as just like a filler. Because the figures are taking a little bit longer, at least in our opinion. Granted, they're actually doing a great job at releasing the figures in a timely manner for a new figure line. This would be a nice filler pack to kind of keep everybody satisfied and looking at new things while they work on the newer figures. So, granted, this is just a mock-up. Like I said, be gentle, be nice. I know it doesn't look the greatest, but it just more puts the idea in your head. Maybe Jada sees this, and they probably are already working on Game Over head sculpts. We just haven't seen any yet. And I do know people want these because the countdown with the beat-up head sculpt when you lost in the game is a vital part of the street fighter line at least in this particular game i could definitely remember seeing the countdown of you know ryu or 
uh, freaking Guile's face, his hair all messed up, all bloodied up, and like I said, I think this would just be something they could whip out quick, and then it would also inspire future sales for figures that people don't have, you know, maybe not everybody had the Fei Long, and they were thinking about it, but then they get this pack because they wanted the game over faces for different figures they have. And they're like, well, maybe I will go get that Fei Long now. So, again, just a short video today. Like I said, there's just not a lot of news out there for the line. So, a little bit of filler on my end, providing a little bit of filler ideas for Jada. So, if you guys think this is a good idea, I know June is probably way, you know, they're probably, they might even announce it at SDCC. But we don't know that yet. So, in the meantime, this is what I got. And, well... I'll keep you up to date on anything else that's coming out here shortly. So hopefully you enjoyed this short one. I will see you guys on the next video. Richie Figs, later.